Hey everybody, this is Mark Wright with Idols Aside. I want to share with you an amazing opportunity we had two weeks ago. Two weeks ago we had the opportunity to meet with Adrian Gonzalez. Uh, Adrian is a man of God, uh, amazing baseball player for the Boston Red Sox, first baseman, probably has one of the biggest bats on the team. But why did we want to meet Adrian? We wanted to meet Adrian because of his heart for Jesus Christ. And, uh, and number two, the, the platform that God has given him and, and how he's taken that platform to reach all types of people throughout this world. Friends and supporters of Idols Aside told us about Evan, and uh, Evan uh, is a freshman in high school, uh, plays on the varsity baseball team. It's probably the biggest team in Maine, uh, and he uh, is a great kid, uh, but was diagnosed uh, with a rare form of cancer a couple years ago and has uh, been battling that, but has been an amazing young man and uh, just being able to use uh, what God's put in his life to, to really change other people's lives, and he's using that cancer to, to make a difference. Uh, but Evan is a baseball player and has a love for the Boston Red Sox and uh, had, had a, uh, a dream and a love to meet, uh, to meet Adrian Gonzalez. And uh, we were uh, just with our relationship with the media department and how everything worked with the interview with Adrian and, and uh, these people in Maine, we were able to put, put, the, two, put the two guys together. But something better came from just this meeting with Adrian and Evan. And uh, what happened was um, Evan and his mother, wonderful people, uh, uh, were in the Catholic faith. And uh, they got to hear the story of Adrian and how you know, he, growing up being Catholic, uh, came to Christ in 03. And uh, we had the opportunity, I had the opportunity to share with Evan um, how to come to Christ and that you know going to heaven is not through works but it's through the blood of Jesus Christ through the cross and Evan gave his life to Christ right there on the green monster powerful powerful day um, I, I became a believer in 2003 um, grew up uh, going to church uh, pretty much two two three times a month and uh, but never really got involved in getting to know the Word and getting to know, having that relationship with Christ. And uh, 2003, uh, just around the guy, a bunch of guys, the believers on the team, uh, going to baseball chapel, we were doing Bible studies uh, after, after um, off the field, and uh, really just started started uh, wanting, wanting that relationship, that, that uh, searching out for, uh, for that relationship and, and trying to understand what it was about. And from there on out, it's really led me to, to really understand what it is to, to live a a life uh, following Christ and uh, trying to be, uh, you know, the best disciple for Christ that uh, that I can be. Oh, well, I was I was raised Catholic, um, and you know, I, I, my, all my family's Catholic, but you know, for me, that relationship that uh, you know that I was certain that that I really was looking for is 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 really the reason, you know, why I started, you know, look look to that. Um, to, to Christianity and so um, you know it's it, it's just something that I, I believe that you know it's in the Bible that it's it's belief in, in, in Christ um, that, uh, that that you're searching for and, and that what you need and so um, it's you know it's it's been unbelievable to, to know what it is to, to have that relationship and to um, live your life out through, through how the gospel t teaches you and, and, and how you know my marriage and just my attitude on the field and everything else just you see a different perspective in life you see different you put yourself in a different position and you, you don't put yourself first you put yourself last and uh, you know that that's a perspective that uh, I never thought I would have been able to do until um, I became a believer you know we're, we're all safe through faith and uh, it, it's not a list of, of do's and don'ts and uh, you, know, you gotta have that personal faith, that belief that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, uh, that He died on the cross for us, and that uh, you know after that, um, the works and, and the things that you want to do should come from your heart because of the love you feel for what He has done for us and for our lives. So um, you know you obviously want to do all the good things because of that reason, not because of you have to do them to to gain salvation or anything like that. So I would just say you know pick up the Bible, start reading. Uh, say the prayer that you believe and, and, and that you, you're willing to give your life for Christ and uh, from there on now just uh, keep searching for for that uh, you know that, that pursuit of holiness that you always try to try, try to try to uh, accomplish and uh, we're never, never going to get to the point of being like Christ but uh, we can try every day to, 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 to be closer to Christ. 
Well, um, the, actually, Psalms 27 one goes back a while. I was reading, uh, reading the Bible about five years ago, and you know, I came up on Psalms 27 one, read it for the first time, and it just touched my heart. And you know, it says, "The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should, I, whom should I be afraid of?" And for me, it's 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 numerous things, but one thing is that every time I'm in a situation, especially in baseball, where I feel overwhelmed by you know pressure or anything like that, I just one thing is that um, my bats, they're the bat model is Psalms 27 1. Um, you know, so it's on my bat. And so it's something that if I'm hitting or something, I can just look at that verse and say, hey, what, what do I have to fear? What do I have to be afraid of? And, you know, I've done everything I can to prepare. It's up to the Lord whether I get a hit or not. You know, it's, it's not, He doesn't care whether I get a hit or not. All He cares about is that no matter what happens, my attitude afterwards is glorifying Him. And so, for me, it's, it's just a, a way to, to let go and say, hey, I've done everything I can to prepare. Have fun with this. Enjoy this. He's put me in a position that is just, you know, incredible to be in. So just enjoy the moment. And so, um, it's also a verse that, you know, I, I, I use when I sign. Um, because I want people to, 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 to see it, say, hey, what is this? I can say, you know, read the Bible, and a lot of times, you know, guys will come, people will come back to me and be like, hey, I read the verse. I was like, great, you know, that's awesome, that's the purpose, you know, go pick up the Bible, read about it, know that it's a part of my life, and, uh, and hopefully, you know, a little, a little seed can, can be planted somewhere. Gr uh, growing up through the Padres system, I had a Scott Linebreak, Josh Bard, um, guys were that were always there uh, with me. Um, then I had uh, Chase Headley and Nick Huntley, who are still there in the Padres. Uh, you know, here I'm building relationships with Daniel Bard and uh, Bobby Jenks, and uh, you know some of the guys to uh, to have that same relationship. Uh, it's my first year here, so you know those relationships uh, you got to cultivate them as well. So uh, it's one of those things that uh, you know we're, uh, we're we're doing those things of having Bible studies on the road and, 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 and chapel and all those things, so we can have that fellowship and. Uh, and uh, you know, it's one of those things that we're again we're we're, we're in the process of uh, establishing Faith Night too to create that atmosphere here in Boston. So um, you know, it's uh, anywhere you are, you got to have those people that hold you accountable. Uh, make sure that you know you're you're, you're staying in a straight line and uh, living uh, the life that uh, God would like would want us to live. I mean, the first thing I would say is that, you know, you can have whatever you want in this earth, and at the end of the day, you're going to want something else. Um, you know, it's one thing I like to tell people is what do you put your your, your foundation on? You know, if, if, it's for, if it's for me, if it's being the best baseball player I can be, and I go out there and get hurt, and I can't play, you know, the rest of my life, wh wh where do I go from there? Um, if it's in money and, you know, the market crashes tomorrow and you have no more money, you know, where do you go from there? If it's being the best... You know, the, the best dad, the best husband, whatever. If you put your faith in on earthly things, you're never going to be fulfilled. But if you put your faith in Christ, then you're always going to be fulfilled because no matter what happens, you know that that, that salvation and, and the love that He has for you, and He's never going to put you in a situation that you cannot, uh, you know, get past. And and He knows everything. Uh, you know, He knows He knows us. You know, from the bottom, from the from the top to the bottom, and. Uh, so it's, it's one thing that just knowing that if you put your faith in Christ um, and not on something. For me, one thing that I always keep in mind is that uh, success is not defined in the box score, whether I go for 4 or 4 for 4. It's how my attitude towards Christ is on that day. I go for 4 or 4 strikeouts and have the best day of my life because I was my attitude was perfect with Christ. And, 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 and I was thankful that you know I was able to be on the field and be healthy and I'll be able to come out tomorrow and play again. At the same time, I can go four for four and have a great day, win the game for us, and and be be horrible because I thought it was about me, and I made it about me. And it's, it's it was and I, for 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 the moment of time, I thought it was me that got it done. And you know what? At the end of the day, it's never me. It's it's, it's the gifts and, and the blessings that God has given me. Um, if you haven't given your life to Christ, you know today today's got to be that day because you don't know what tomorrow holds. And uh, you know it's one of those things that uh, tomorrow could be too late. So uh, you know just. Give your life to Christ today. Start living that, that life, and uh, you'll never regret it. It's, it's the best decision you'll ever make. So, uh, you know, um, for us, it's it, it really has transformed our lives, and uh, we couldn't be any happier. Couldn't be any. Can, you know, we're just content with whatever happens, and uh, you know, always uh, always looking towards Christ to uh, to fulfill us. 
if any of the information I shared uh, with you um, touches your heart and, and you want to know more information about getting to know Christ and uh, becoming a believer, uh, email Idols Aside uh, in the website and they will follow up with you and uh, get in touch with you and uh, let you know all about it. So uh, go to their website and, uh, and, and get, get, to know, get to know Christ and start living the life. After the game, we had the opportunity to see Adrian uh, before he left the ballpark and just uh, to go over again what w w about Evan and what happened. And, and I got to share with him that Evan gave his life for Christ uh, on the Green Monster, and Adrian was excited. Uh, he, was, uh, he was pumped up to hear what Evan did. And uh, I remember Adrian said something to me at the end of the game. He said, Mark, he said, man, he said, this is what it's all about. You know, he said, the game of baseball is fun. He said, I know, you get to, you know you're enjoying to see what God does through idols aside, but he said, man, that's what it's about, taking, taking what God puts before us, taking our platforms and bringing people to him. And he was pumped. It was awesome. Awesome to see Adrian's reaction when he heard Evan came to Christ. And what a special day. It's amazing to see if we're obedient to God, we listen to God, how God can take uh, a boy named Evan and his mother from Maine, take Idols aside in Florida, take Adrian who plays for the Boston Red Sox and put all three parties together uh, to see his work come alive and to see a young man come to Christ.